Greetings, you've landed on the Tour. Here we unravel the secrets of the natural world, spinning tales of the extraordinary and the everyday. Our mission? To ignite your curiosity and deepen your appreciation for our shared planet. Today, we're turning our spotlight on a creature of remarkable resilience and beauty, a journeyman of the ocean and rivers, the Atlantic Salmon. So, buckle up and prepare to dive deep into the fascinating world of the Atlantic Salmon. The Atlantic Salmon, scientifically known as Salmo Salar, is a species that's sure to pique your interest. This remarkable fish, often referred to as the king of fish, is a native of the North Atlantic Ocean. Its habitat spans both sides of the Atlantic, from northeastern North America to Europe, and as far north as the Arctic Circle. Its range of habitat is truly astounding, from icy cold rivers to the vast expanse of the open sea. The Atlantic salmon is a sight to behold, with its striking silver-blue scales and streamlined body built for endurance and speed. Adults can grow to lengths of up to 3 feet and weigh anywhere from 8 to 12 pounds on average. It's a fish that's as beautiful as it is powerful. But the Atlantic salmon is more than just a pretty face. It plays a crucial role in the ecosystem, serving as a key species for both the marine and freshwater environments it inhabits. In the sea, it's a vital link in the food chain, providing nourishment for a variety of predators. In rivers, its spawning activity helps to enrich and aerate the water, benefiting other aquatic life forms. The Atlantic salmon's migratory nature also has significant ecological implications. It's one of the few fish species that can adapt to both freshwater and saltwater environments, hatching in rivers before migrating to the sea to mature, and then returning to their birthplace to spawn. This unique life cycle connects different ecosystems and contributes to biodiversity. The Atlantic salmon also holds cultural significance for many communities across its range. For centuries, it has been a source of food and livelihood, and it continues to support commercial and recreational fisheries today. And let's not forget the Atlantic salmon's contribution to scientific research. Its unique life cycle and adaptability make it an excellent model for studying environmental change and animal migration. Indeed, the Atlantic salmon is much more than just a fish, it's a vital cog in the ecological machine. Every Atlantic salmon embarks on a remarkable journey during its lifetime. The narrative of the Atlantic salmon begins humbly, as a tiny bead of life, an egg, nestled in the gravel of a cold, rushing river. These eggs, smaller than a pencil's eraser, are the first chapter in an extraordinary tale. As winter's grip on the river loosens, the eggs hatch into alevins, miniature fish with yolk sacs attached, their sole source of nourishment in this vulnerable stage. Once the yolk sac is depleted, the alevins transform into fry small, free-swimming fish that begin to feed on tiny aquatic insects. Then, after a year or two, these fry metamorphose into par, identifiable by their distinct vertical stripes. The par stage can last up to five years, during which they grow and prepare for the next phase of their life. The transition from freshwater par to saltwater-ready smolt is a physiological marvel. The smoltification process prepares the young salmon for life in the sea. This includes changes in their body coloration, organ function, and even behavior. Once transformed, the smolts embark on their migration towards the vast Atlantic Ocean, navigating the treacherous journey downstream. In the ocean, the Atlantic salmon transforms again, this time into a silvery adult. Here, they feed on small fish and shrimp, growing larger and stronger. Over one to three years they mature fully, their bodies now primed for the return journey to their natal river. This homeward voyage is a feat of nature. These salmon, now adults, navigate thousands of miles back to the very river where they were born. They use the Earth's magnetic field and their sense of smell to guide them. Once back in their birthplace they spawn, laying the eggs that will start the next generation's journey. After spawning some salmon may die, but others survive, beginning the cycle anew. The life cycle of an Atlantic salmon is a testament to nature's grand design. Despite their resilience, Atlantic salmon face numerous challenges. In a world that's constantly changing these remarkable creatures are up against a trinity of threats, pollution, overfishing and climate change, each posing significant challenges to their survival. Let's begin with pollution. Our rivers and oceans, the home to these magnificent swimmers, have become dumping grounds for industrial waste, plastic, and other pollutants. This not only taints the water they live in, but also the food they eat, leading to decreased reproduction rates and increased mortality. A clean environment is as crucial for the Atlantic salmon as it is for us. Overfishing is another major hurdle. 
Despite strict regulations, illegal fishing practices are rampant, depleting the Atlantic salmon population at an alarming rate. Imagine this, you're trying to return home, only to be yanked out of your path, never to see your birthplace again. That's the reality for many of these salmon. And then we have climate change, the invisible enemy. Rising ocean temperatures and altered precipitation patterns disrupt the fine balance of the Atlantic salmon's life cycle. It's like changing the rules of the game halfway through, leaving them struggling to adapt. The impacts of these threats are far-reaching and intertwined. Pollution weakens the salmon, making them more susceptible to disease. Overfishing reduces their numbers, making it harder for the population to recover. Climate change alters their habitats, putting the remaining population under extreme stress. It's a vicious cycle, a domino effect that threatens the very existence of the Atlantic salmon. But it's not just about the salmon. Their struggle is a reflection of the health of our rivers and oceans. They are the proverbial canaries in the coal mine. Their decline a stark warning of the broader environmental crisis we are facing. The Atlantic salmon's struggle for survival is a harsh reminder of our impact on nature. It's a call to action, a plea for change. After all, their story is our story too, and it's up to us to ensure it doesn't end in tragedy. While the threats are real, hope emerges through conservation efforts. The Atlantic salmon, an icon of strength and endurance, is the subject of numerous conservation efforts today. These initiatives, a testament to human commitment to preserving biodiversity, are making strides in protecting and enhancing the Atlantic salmon's population. One such endeavor is the restoration of salmon habitats. This includes the rehabilitation of rivers and streams, often damaged by human activity, to create conditions conducive for the salmon to thrive. We're talking about removing barriers that obstruct salmon migration, such as dams and weirs, and ensuring water quality by preventing pollution. This effort allows these fantastic fish to complete their life cycle in a conducive environment. Another significant conservation technique is the use of hatcheries. These facilities breed and rear juvenile salmon, known as smolts, before releasing them into the wild. This practice, termed as stocking, bolsters the salmon population and increases their chances of survival. In addition to these, there are many community-led conservation initiatives that encourage local involvement. These programs educate communities about the importance of the Atlantic salmon and the roles they can play in its conservation. From participating in river cleanups to adopting sustainable fishing practices, every little effort counts. Moreover, international cooperation plays a vital role, too. The North Atlantic Salmon Conservation Organization, for instance, brings together nations to collaborate on the conservation and management of the Atlantic salmon. Through scientific research and policymaking, this organization is instrumental in ensuring the salmon's survival. Conservation isn't just about the here and now, it's about the future. Teaching the younger generation about the importance of Atlantic salmon, their life cycle and challenges is crucial. Schools and educational programs worldwide are incorporating this knowledge into their curriculum, fostering a sense of responsibility towards the environment. Through collective effort and understanding, we can ensure the Atlantic salmon continue their epic journey. The journey may be fraught with challenges, but with the combined efforts of governments, organizations, communities, and individuals, we can pave the way for a brighter future for these magnificent creatures. The Atlantic salmon is a remarkable creature, embodying the ebbs and flows of nature. In the span of our discussion, we've delved into the life and challenges of this fascinating fish. From a tiny egg nestled in the gravel of freshwater streams, the Atlantic salmon embarks on a journey of transformation, braving the vast oceanic expanse before returning to its birthplace to spawn. We've also shed light on the hardships they face, from climate change to overfishing and pollution. These adversities have led to a decline in their population, raising concerns among conservationists. Yet efforts are underway to protect these creatures. From habitat restoration to stricter fishing regulations, every step counts in ensuring the survival of the Atlantic salmon. As we part ways, remember, each Atlantic salmon tells a tale of resilience, adaptation and survival. Their story is a testament to the enduring spirit of nature and a reminder of our responsibility to preserve it. That's our deep dive into the world of the Atlantic salmon. We hope you've enjoyed this journey discovering the fascinating, sometimes challenging life of this remarkable creature. Your support means the world to us. So if you've been intrigued by what you've heard, why not share this video with others? Let's spread the word and the wonder of the natural world. Before you swim away, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to The Raconteur. Until next time, 
keep exploring and keep learning.